Om Shanti, today is the 64th day of your beautiful blessing, a powerful blessing where God reminds us that we need to be in the state of self-respect in order to receive respect from others. If you see in the worldly ways also, people have kept trophies or certificates on their walls, right, on the shelf and they always remember that, they look at that and they always remember, this is my medal which I received for so-and-so thing, for so-and-so victory. So that is not going to be outliving you. That is going to be there, which is going to be temporary. One has to leave the body and go into the next life where one forgets what they had achieved in the previous life and they have to restart again. But God says that is all physical attainment. But what is spiritual attainment? Spiritual attainment is when we are connected to God and we receive all the different powers of purity, love, happiness, bliss, through which we do good karmas, which travel with us to the next life. We make ourselves lighter and we go to the next life. So Baba says, which is more powerful? Which self-respect is more powerful? Now in order to have that victory over lust, anger, greed, ego, attachment, jealousy, comparison, competition, laziness and many more things, one has to work hard as one works hard in the worldly ways. But for that one has to be in self-respect. So what self-respect do we need to have? so as to have victory over these vices. Let's have a look at what Baba has to say today. So Baba says, may you become free from body consciousness. See, body consciousness makes you think, I am fair, tall, dark, whatsoever, or I have got so many, so many attainments in the worldly ways. This is my title whether I am a king, whether I am from the royal family, whether I am the president, whether I am the prime minister, whether I am a minister. And we always remain in that self-respect, which is temporary, a physical body conscious respect, which doesn't last for long. But we do remember that, right? But Baba says, now move from that and turn into soul consciousness. So Baba says, may you become free from body consciousness and receive respect from the whole world. So that respect is not going to live for a very long time. Some people are going to be jealous of you, right? That's a temporary respect. Not everyone respects you just because you have attained certain things in life. Some people are jealous of you. But soul conscious respect is somewhere where people are not jealous of you. They see that there's something which they can learn from you, which is going to bring them peace and love and happiness. So... When they see that in you, that soul conscious self-respect, they feel lighter. But when they see that body conscious self-respect of your post and position, they become jealous. So that doesn't bring peace to them. Think about the difference. So then Baba says, may you become free from body consciousness and receive respect, the true respect from the whole world by remaining stable in your self-respect. So what is that self-respect? Let's go ahead and understand. The main aim of the study is to be detached from body consciousness. That is what we learn in Brahma Kumaris, the spiritual unity. And to become soul conscious and the method to be detached and be free from body consciousness, what is that method? Is to remain constantly stable in your self-respect. So the first self-respect which Baba has given us or the Soman is, I am the child of God. I am a point of light, a divine soul first thing which we have learned. Then there are other things in which one is, I am master almighty authority, just like my godfather. I am victorious over my weaknesses like lust, anger, greed, ego and many more things. I am master purifier, just like God is a purifier. I purify myself and I help others to purify them. I am master liberator. I am the angel of God who is lighter in the mind and helps others to become lighter. I am the ancient most soul who lived in the golden age and I have taken many births, I became impure, I am on the verge of becoming pure again. So there's so many different different kind of self-respect thoughts or words which we remember in soul consciousness and they help us to be victorious in life. So then Baba says, and be free from body consciousness is to remain constantly stable in your self-respect. These sentences, these words which we use. By remaining stable in any of the many types of self-respect which we have just discussed and there are many more actually. 
of the confluence age this is a confluence age where god reminds us of who we were in our previous births and what we have become now and remind he reminds us of how we can come back into self respect and remember those self respect words which baba has given us in the education which we receive in brahma kumaris so then baba says by remaining stable in any of the many types of self respect of the confluence age this age and the future your body consciousness will continue to finish it will slowly slowly diminish those who remain stable in their self respect from everyone those who remain constantly stable in their self respect become world emperors what kind of emperor world emperor so whom are we going to follow in the future in the golden age somebody who's got ego somebody who's got money or somebody who's rich in values and virtues in qualities in purity in love in happiness in bliss in power so baba says a world emperor will be somebody who has got these imperishable different form of godly gifts as compared to the worldly gifts which people are so arrogant about that is not going to get transferred in the golden age nothing of this old world is going to get transferred in the golden age because golden age is an age of purity imagine there won't be any plastic no cars technology will be the highest but that's the time where people won't be thinking of how do i suppress somebody what means should i use so there has to be equality and purity over there so what kind of souls will go in the golden age or in the garden of eden or you can call it shambhala shangrila or you can call it jannat or you can call it heaven or you can call it by any other name so those who remain constantly stable in their self respect become world emperors in that world and they receive respect from the whole world automatically don't have to work hard don't have to demand or command that i am in this position so i command respect so baba says become pure again with this i leave you with this beautiful vardhan om shanti Thank you.